assalamu alaikum so today we are going to discuss the arteries of the lower limb so first of all we must know about this fig so this is the inguinal ligament this is a femur this is the patella bone this is the tibia bone this is the fibula this is the interosseous membrane between these two bones and these are the carpal bones these are the metacarpal and these are the phalanges so now we will see the arteries of the lower limb and the main arteries of the lower limb include the femoral artery, the popliteal artery, the anterior and the posterior tibial arteries, the dorsalis pedis artery and the medial and the lateral plantar artery. So we will see them one by one. So here will be the external iliac artery as it, it will cross this inguinal ligament it will change into the femoral artery. Now it is moving inferiorly as the femoral artery this femoral artery it will move inferiorly and at this point near the, the knee joint it will move posterior to humerus now I will show it in the form of these dots and here it, it will become the popliteal artery and as it crosses the knee joint it will divide into two branches the anterior tibial and the posterior tibial the anterior tibial which will move on this anterior side and the posterior tibial which will move on the posterior side okay so the anterior tibial it will come on the anterior as it passes through this space superior to this interosseous membrane like this and it will move inferiorly and the posterior tibial it will move posteriorly like this and this will be the anterior tibial and then it will supply the foot as dorsalis pedis we will also see that so first of all label these main arteries this was the external eyelid and this was femoral and uh, here it was popliteal here it was posterior tibial and this was the anterior tibial and then it will continue as the dorsalis pedis this will be dorsalis pedis now the main branch of the femoral artery is the profunda femoris artery or the deep artery of thigh which is the main or the primary artery of thigh and the femoral artery is the main or the primary artery of the lower limb so here it will give this this will be the profunda femoris artery now we will see the branches of the profunda femoris so it will give the medial circumflex branch the lateral circumflex branch and the perforating branches first of all we will see the perforating branches so there will be approximately three or four sometimes they are three sometimes they are four okay and they will move posterior like this So this will be to the Newton foramen branch. And these will three will be the perforating branches. Newton foramen of the femur and these three will be perforating branches. And they will be approximately three to four in number. So the main branches of this profunda femoris artery are the medial and the lateral circumflex. So this will be the lateral circumflex and this will be the medial circumflex. This lateral and medial, lateral circumflex it will further divide into three branches the transverse, the ascending and the descending. So this will be the descending branch this will be transverse branch and this will be the ascending branch and similarly this medial it will divide into the ascending and the descending branches 
ascending and the descending branch we label them this was ascending branch this was transverse branch and this was the descending and these were the branches of lateral circumflex similarly this was the ascending branch and this was the descending branch of the medial circumflex and this was the medial circumflex okay and these as the lateral and the medial they will also anastomose uh, with one another and they will form the cruciate anastomosis and the trochanteric anastomosis uh, which are around it in the trochanteric fossa and the near the uh, lesser trochanter we will see those in a separate video here we will also only see the main branches anastomosis we will see in a separate video so some other branches of the femoral artery they include the superior epigastric like the superior epi epi epigastric and the superior external pudendal artery the deep external pudendal artery superficial circumflex iliac artery so we will also label them so superficial epigastric superficial external superficial external pudendal the deep external pudendal and the superficial circumflex iliac So these lateral and the medial circumflex they will splice the head and neck of the femur and this profunda femoris along with its uh, remaining perforating branches it will splice the muscles which are on the posterior and the medial compartment of the thigh. So now we will move further and at this this point where it is moving posteriorly here it, this femoral artery it will give the descending genicular branch. Okay. And this was the descending branch of the lateral circumflex. It will be also here. Here they will anastomose like this. We will label them first. This was the descending genicular. This is also the branch of femoral artery. And this was this descending branch of lateral circumflex. Sending branch of lateral circumflex. Now here, this popliteal artery it will give the genicular branches, which will participate in the genicular anastomosis around this knee joint. We will also see this anastomosis in a detailed video um, next time. Here we will only see the branches. So, first of all, it will give the superior medial and the superior lateral genicular branches like this. On these are arising on posterior side. Then they will move anteriorly like this and will join this. This will be the uh, superior lateral genicular and similarly here will be the superior medial genicular. We will label them first. Lateral genicular and this was superior medial genicular. medial genicular now it, it will give the inferior lateral genicular and the inferior medial genicular branches it will be like this this was inferior medial sorry this was the medial and this was lateral inferior lateral genicular branches 
now this descending uh, this was the anterior tibial so it will give the anterior tibial recurrent branch like this okay so this anterior tibial recurrent it, it will also join this anastomosis and they will also here anastomosis like this so this will be the anterior tibial recurrent anterior tibial recurrent which will also participate in this genicular anastomosis we will see this anastomosis in a separate video here just we have to remember the names of the branches now we will move further so this posterior tibial artery it will here it will give a branch the, the peroneal artery or we can say the fibular artery which will move along with it like this and this will be also on the posterior side okay here it will it will come on the anterior side and it will splice the muscles of the lateral compartment of leg so this was the peroneal or fibular artery which is arising from this posterior tibial okay now we will see the end branches of the anterior tibial on this diagram and for the posterior tibial we will see a separate diagram on the back of this page so now the anterior tibial artery it is continued in the foot directly as the dorsalis pedis artery now we will see the branches of the dorsalis pedis artery so this dorsalis pedis artery here it will give a lateral tarsal artery like this this will be the lateral tarsal artery and this dorsalis pedis artery it will one give an arcuate artery first of all we will draw it completely it will move like this in the foot okay so it will give an branch the arcuate popliteal which will anastomose with this lateral tarsal this was the lateral tarsal and this was arcuate popliteal sorry only arcuate not popliteal it is only arcuate artery and it will also give the first metatarsal this popliteal artery it will directly give the first dorsal metatarsal artery which will then give the dorsal digital arteries this will be the first dorsal metatarsal artery and it will here it will also give this branch this will be the deep plantar artery which will move on the plantar side of the foot we will see that in the next diagram this will be deep plantar and then this arcuate artery it will give the second third and fourth dorsal metatarsal arteries second second third and fourth which will give the dorsal digital arteries like this what will be this this will be the the dorsal digital arteries and here there are two more branches of this anterior tibial artery which are the anterior medial malvular and the anterior lateral malvular branches they will be here and this will be anterior medial malvular Hello, and this will be anterior lateral malleolar artery. So this is the course of the dorsalis pedis artery. Now we will see the course of this posterior tibial artery on a separate diagram because it is on the plantar side of the foot. So this will be here. Now let's suppose this was the posterior tibial artery this is posterior tibial artery so this posterior tibial artery it will first divide into the lateral plantar and the medial plantar the lateral plantar it will mostly spread the foot okay it will divide into the this lateral plantar and the medial plantar this lateral plantar artery it will form the deep plantar arch 
with the deep plantar artery from the dorsalis pedis which we have discussed here this one deep plantar artery this will anastomose with this lateral plantar artery and they will form an arch here like this here it will come and they will both form an arch like this we will label it this was the medial plantar this was lateral plantar this will be the deep plantar arch arch and from here an artery will come which will be, which will be the deep plantar artery which is a branch of dorsalis pedis artery deep plantar artery now this medial plantar artery it, it will give the first metatarsal artery which will run into the digital arteries and they will spray the, this thumb and this deep plantar arch artery it will give the metatarsal meta artery which spries the other metatarsals and the phalanges like this these are next the digital arteries and these were the metatarsal metatarsal artery and then these will be the digital artery so this is whole the uh, arteries of the lower limb along with their main branches and now i will make a separate video regarding the anastomosis there, totally there are three anastomosis in, in the lower limb one will be this uh, genuclear anastomosis around the knee joint and two will be here the uh, cruciate anastomosis and the trochanteric anastomosis thank you